Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons as a third place uh, and beyond D and D Beyond. <laughs> Getting a little clever there. All right, um, so uh, so let's talk about Dungeons and Dragons as a third place. All right, so what do, what do I mean by a third place? All right, so I'm just going to share a little bit about my life uh, real quick, and then I'm and, and I'm going to point to another creator. Uh, for a great video, and we're going to talk about that, the concept that that other creator uh, talked about in context of Dungeons and & Dragons, and what it means for us. Okay, so I am really into, so my new jam is roller skating. I love to roller skate, um, and it's becoming a really big, important part of my life. I really enjoy it, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm a bigger guy, so I'm, and I despise going to the gym. I just think it's kind of stupid and don't like it. So I'm always looking for ways to get off my butt, move, and you know, and burn some calories, right? And um, and during nine months a year, I can do this on a bicycle. But in the winter time, I've never found a solution. And I think the new solution for me is uh, roller skating, right? So I've I've been uh, learning to roller skate and really enjoying roller skating. And I'm setting a, a new goal of roller skating twice a week, right? Um, and it, it's just a big part of my life, and it's a growing part of my life. And I want to share that with you because I'm learning things as I learn to roller skate, right? So the, so how am I learning to roller skate? Well, I'm taking lessons at my favorite roller skating rink, um, which is in Camden, New Jersey. I love it. It's really fun. And, um, and oh, by the way, it's, it's a thing that's given me a, a sense of goodwill for uh, New Jersey because I used to think that New Jersey was the Mordor of America. But they have this amazing uh, skate skate rink that I absolutely love, and so I am starting to extend goodwill to New Jersey. That's good. That's good. All right. Okay. So, um, so I go to a lesson uh, a lesson once a week at the roller skating rink. But the other thing I do is I, on YouTube I found this woman there, and she goes by the name Dirty Deborah. Which I don't know why she chose that name. It's like it's not helpful for uh, roller skating. Uh, channel, but that's her name. That's what she goes by, and she's absolutely fantastic. So she um, she did some figure skating, and then she was in roller derby, derby, and now she has a tremendous channel linked below, and um, and that link below, uh, is, you know, goes to all her teaching people how to roller skate. It's been incredibly uh, beneficial to me, right? And she has a great video about um, roller skating as a third place, right? And she talked about this very in depth. And made a fantastic point. And I want to talk about this same point from the context of Dungeons and Dragons and what's it, what it means for us as Dungeons and Dragons. So here was her point, right? She was like, "Hey, human, we as human beings, um, we are we are meat sacks, right? Like, and we are in physical, we are in physical form, right? And um, and so one of the things in our physical form, where we are matters, right? And for hundreds of years, we've had this thing called the third place, right?" So our first place is home. That's where we spend most of our time. Our second place used to be church, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Our second place used to be work. Used to be work. And then our third place used to be church. Or maybe our third place was a bar. Or maybe our third place was the movie theater, right? A place where we are comfortable, where we spend time, where we are safe and we can enjoy ourselves, right? Um, and the first place, home, you know, it should be safe, it should be comfortable, it should be a place where we can have fun. Work, even there, you know, you should be uh, you should be safe, you should be somewhat comfortable, and maybe you have a little fun, right? That's not the main focus, right? And 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 actually, you know, work is a little bit different, right? But um, but that third place is is really supposed to be something you very much enjoy, and something you're taking the time to, you know. It should be something that is good, right? Like, you know, that is specifically, a, you know, a place where you are comfortable, right? And and you're able to have fun. And in the old days, this was a bar, it was church, it was the movie theater, right? But now, what has happened today? Look at 2023, okay? You have your home, right? And first of all, uh, right now in America, for the first time in a long time, a lot of people really can't even buy a home, right? Like so, so your home, you know, it's not even it's not even what it used to be, right? Like a lot of people even can't even call the place they're in home. It might just be a very temporary, um, you know, side 
uh, you know, side item space, right? You know, for them, and that's that's challenging, right? And then let's talk about work. Literally, low millions of people, maybe you know, tens of millions of people, uh, especially since the Great Pandy, right? Um, that's changed dramatically. That has changed dramatically, right? So what what changed? Where where did we land, right? And so that second place has almost completely disappeared, right? Just like completely disappeared. That's astounding, right? Like to, to that an entire second place has disappeared. Guess what? I'm an elder at my church. I can tell you right now, less people than ever are going to church, right? So that's no longer there, right? Now, I don't know about bars. Bar, lots of people are probably still going to bars, right? Um, but the movie theater, I'm a huge movie fan. And I can tell you right now, that third place is disappearing, right? So the only place you got is some uh, damp hole where you can, you know, kill your brain cells, right? So that's not good, right? The second place and the third place are disappearing, right? Let's talk about Dungeons and Dragons, right? Dungeons and Dragons is a third, fourth, fifth, nth place, right? If you have Dungeons and Dragons, you still have your third place, right? You have this space where you can come together with people who love narrative, who love adventure, who love, um, you know, dice, right? And you have, not only do you have the physical table, right? But you might have the virtual table and that, that third space is actually an incredibly powerful launching pad to Eberron, to Faerun, to Kryn, to Dominaria, to Kaladesh, to um, Innistrad, right? And the moment you get over to Dominaria, maybe you take the planar bridge called the Cube directly over to Fortnite where you can find yourself in DC, right? The DC uh, comic world. Or in the Marvel comic world with characters that are that that are popular, that characters that have come over from the DC comic world, from the Marvel comic world, from Star Wars, right? And Dungeons and Dragons becomes this absolute third space launching pad to not a joke, not an exaggeration, literally a thousand worlds, right? And you can enjoy those worlds in the narrative logic by narrative logic and lore you can tell stories in those worlds right or you can simply celebrate Dungeons and Dragons and you could celebrate adventure by purchasing amazing tangible talismans of Dungeons and Dragons awesomeness and all the things that are made at perfect scale to perfectly match and connect with those D&D tangible talismans in Funko Pop Magic the Gathering and Lego and so Dunn's is dry. So, so Dirty Deborah was right. Ro roller skating, the rink, the skating rink, is an awesome third place, right? And I am actually finding, you know, uh, very slowly. I actually, only have two. I have one new friend at the roller skating rink. I, you know, I'm okay. I'm a very solitary guy, and I don't really need, you know, to, you know, interact with a lot of people there. And honestly, I, I feel a little bit like an outsider coming in um, because it's not my culture yet, right, and, and I'm, I'm not great, uh, you know, I do the best I can to skate, but most of the people there can skate backwards better than I will ever be able to skate forwards, most likely, right, so, you know, but the reality is, it is a third place, and I have one friend there, his name is Eddie, look, <laughs> so, and that's nice, you know, and, and so I have this third place, but for Dungeons and Dragons, right, it's far more than a roller rink can ever offer, right, like, we can be a thousand people, a hundred people, right? We can have all these identities and they can be in these other third places, right? And Eberron and Ravnica and Theros and Strixhaven or Arcavios and, you know, there are just all these places that we can have distinct emotions, distinct memories, distinct sensory experiences, right? We can die there. We can live there, right? And we are so incredibly blessed to live in the time of Dungeons and Dragons. I can live a hundred lives, right? Like, and I already have, right? And frankly, I've lived a thousand lives because I'm a dungeon master, right? 
And I really, I really pity everyone who lived before 1974 and was stuck in their solitary identity, right? And now with Dungeons and Dragons, we, we actually, we are achieving manifold sentience, right? And with, and we have not just a third place, but nth places, right? An infinite number of worlds and a thousand tangibly crafted worlds, right? And no, no product in the world does this. Nothing else in the world has ever done more to connect their worlds to exciting spaces than Dungeons and Dragons. Every word of that is my humble opinion. I'm ready to hear your humble opinion. Please consider like subscribing. Have a wonderful millennium.